Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to disable system integrity protection on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. SIP or SIP is a security feature of macOS. Please make sure that you have to do this before you actually do it because it's going to disable essential parts of the Mac security system. So in order to do this, we have to shut down the computer first. Click on the top left hand side of the screen, click the shut down button in order to shut down the computer first. So once the computer is shut down, we're going to have to enter recovery mode. So what we're going to do is to press the power button and then we're going to hold it until we enter the recovery menu. So I'm going to press this power button and I'm going to hold it to switch it on and then make sure that the recovery menu comes up. It says here, continue holding for startup options. Now it's saying loading startup options. You can actually let go of your finger now once it says that. So we're now in the recovery menu. What I'm going to do is click the option button here and press continue. And we're now in the recovery menu. What we need to do is to click on our user and click next. Then we're gonna type in our password and press continue. So now we've reached the full recovery menu. What we need to do is to go into terminal. So we need to click on the utilities menu bar at the top here and then select terminal. So here I'm just gonna make it larger by pressing command plus. So the command we need to use is csrutil disable. So I'm gonna leave this code in the description of this video but it's basically csrutil space disable. And here I'm gonna press return. And it's saying here that turning off system integrity protection is modifying the system security. It can potentially allow for malware to be installed on this computer or a virus. So just be aware of this. If you're doing this, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Here we're gonna press Y and then return. And then it's asking for an authorized user. We're gonna type in our username for the computer. So this is the username for my computer. It's normally the first name, last name by default, or it could be something different for you. You can check in your user settings in the Mac operating system. Here we're gonna press return, and here we'll type the password. When you do type it in, you won't see any characters because this is terminal. However, when you've typed it in, you can just press return and it will be entered in the background. So you're gonna press enter. So it'll take a few seconds for this to be disabled, and now it's complete. So now that this is complete, we can now restart the machine for SIP to be disabled. I'm gonna click on the top left hand side here and click restart. You can confirm that the system integrity protection has been turned off by clicking on the top right hand side of the screen to the spotlight, typing in the word terminal, and then selecting the top line here. If I type in the command CSR util space status, I'm gonna leave this in the description as well and press return. This will tell us that the system integrity protection status is disabled and we can confirm that this has been disabled for us. So if you'd like to be able to re-enable system integrity protection, we basically just need to follow these steps again. So instead of typing CSR util space disable, we type in CSR util space enable. If you need help with this, then please follow the link in the description, which is gonna give you a tutorial on how to re-enable system integrity protection. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.